This hour, members of a historic church in downtown Salt Lake City say they're staying observant after discovering vandalism on the property. New special Shelby Lofton spoke to the church's pastor and police who say that they are investigating this as a potential bias crime. Members of Trinity African Methodist Episcopal Church are dealing with not one, but two acts of vandalism. This is a building people escape to for peace and for safety. But for the last week, members have been confronted by these acts of vandalism right outside the church doors. We now have to kind of continue to not let our guard down. Every time Reverend Daryl Jackson walks into his church, he's confronted by these words painted on the sidewalk. Stay off my block. You are not welcome. No cheats and liars here. You know, you can't ignore those. He says one week later, another piece of property was damaged. We got our uh, renovation of our fellowship hall downstairs. So that was our banner, right? Inviting the public to our groundbreaking ceremony. The banner standing as a welcome invitation to the community torn down. You know, do we have to have, you know, security? Jackson says it's not the first time Trinity AME was vandalized. We've had someone throw a rock through one of our stained glass windows. We had one in the back with some really derogatory uh, comments. He says the repeated acts make his church family leery. Yeah, especially being um, more of a predominant a black congregation, that it, it definitely enters, you know, into our minds. Salt Lake City police say they're investigating the incidents as potential bias crimes. They're asking people nearby to check their cameras for any evidence. There's no place for hate or bias in our community, and we want community members to feel safe and feel like they have belonging here. Jackson says he's hopeful the incidents will stop so his congregation can worship in peace. It gets to be a little bit disheartening, you know, as you're trying to preach the gospel. And But we still have to show love to one another, and Christ tells us to love our enemies. Reverend Jackson told me on top of possibly hiring church security, he's in talks with the Salt Lake City Police Department about getting a camera installed outside of the church building. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. Shelby, thank you. Salt Lake City Police Department says it is investigating the incidents as potential bias crimes, as we mentioned. Now, we asked them if there's a difference here between bias and hate crimes. To determine whether or not it meets the criteria of a bias crime or a hate crime is we've got to figure out who this person is and figure out where they're at so that we can talk to them and really f find out why they did what they did. And then we work with the district attorney's office to determine did this meet the criteria of a bias or a hate crime. So we also asked the department if they are using the words bias and hate interchangeably. We want to make sure that, you know, especially when something like this happens to a targeted group of community members or a church or things like that, we want to make sure that we're doing a thorough investigation to, to help cover our bases to make sure that whoever's doing this isn't targeting a specific group. And so right now, based on that preliminary information and what we have right now, that's why we're looking into this as a bias crime. At the federal level, a bias incident is an act of prejudice that does not involve violence, property damage, or threats.